This is Optimal Finance Daily, episode 1202, How to Strategically Use Credit Cards and The Pain of Paying, Carrying Cash, both by Philip Dancy of dancywithmoney.com. And I am Dan, I am here every single day reading to you from some of the best personal finance blogs on the planet. Today we've got two posts from Philip Dancy of dancywithmoney.com, so let's get right to them as we start optimizing your life. How to Strategically Use Credit Cards by Philip Dancy of dancywithmoney.com Credit Cards They usually have a bad reputation because of our bad money habits and the $7,000 average household debt held on the card. Additionally, the credit providers claim they want to help us get what we want and or need, but in fact, they are secretly hoping we carry a balance each month so they can make money off the interest they charge us. However, what if I told you there was a way to stick it to these credit card providers? Well, you're in luck. Today, we will be discussing three different ways to strategically use your credit cards. Rewards credit cards. We all have things that we like. Retail therapy at Target, catching flights and not feelings, or even that avocado toast with your friends on the weekends. If you're strategic, there are actually credit cards that will give you cash or points to do the things you like. Who doesn't like free stuff? For example, a lot of living arrangements require us to pay rent. My wife and I currently use our cash rewards card to pay our rent, and we get back roughly 30 bucks a month. When you attach a rewards card to everyday expenses that you pay, such as groceries, utilities, and internet, the cash back adds up. We're talking about hundreds of dollars per year that can be used to either pay for other items or put right back on your credit card bills. For travel cards, it could mean a couple free trips throughout the year. For retail cards, it could mean free retail therapy sessions during the year. Responsible balance transfers. Balance transfers can be a lifesaver for some individuals. Note, emphasis on responsible. A balance transfer is the process of transferring high-interest debt from one or more credit cards to another one with a lower interest rate. Using this strategy will help you apply more payments to the principal balance and, in return, eliminate credit card debt faster. As of late, several low-interest credit cards are offering introductory incentives, such as 0% APR for the first 12 to 18 months. This gives you the opportunity to pay back all your credit card debt without worrying about interest. This strategy could potentially save you hundreds of dollars on interest depending on how much credit card debt you owe. Remember, balance transfers are only effective if you don't add additional debt and pay it off within the 0% APR period. Pay the full balance each month. Yep, you heard that right. Do not just pay the minimum, but pay the entire credit card bill balance each month. This is the only guarantee to avoid interest charges on your credit card. In return, you're preventing these credit card companies from making money off you. You know how Jay-Z said something along the lines of, if you can't buy it two times, you can't afford it? We should use this same concept when it comes to our credit cards. Were those Jordans worth the added cost of interest if you couldn't pay off the credit card bill balance? When it comes to credit cards, we should all try and be strategic with our swiping. Get those rewards points toward your next flight and avoid those interest charges. And I have another post for you in just a sec, but first, this episode was brought to you by Gatsby. Have you ever wanted to make money when the stock market dips? Are you sick of disappointing returns even when you pick the right stocks? Willing to dial up the risk? You can do what the pros do and trade options on Gatsby. Options trading doesn't have to be complicated. Gatsby makes trading options beautifully simple and commission-free. With options, you can take strategies for or against any public company or ETF with more leverage than stocks. And with Gatsby, you can follow your friends to see what others are trading on. Do you think it's time to be more active with your portfolio? Then Gatsby is ready for you. Gatsby is beyond commission-free. Customers can earn rewards points with every trade and redeem them for gift cards. Take advantage of our special offer just for our listeners and get your first 2,000 rewards points on us by going to trygatsby.com slash optimal. Options trading is risky in nature and you can lose all invested capital. Securities are offered through ViewTrade Securities, Inc. See trygatsby.com for a full list of disclosures and the complete fee schedule. The Pain of Paying, Carrying Cash by Philip Dancy of dancywithmoney.com Remember that epic weekend you had recently? The one where there were multiple day parties, festivals, or bar hopping? Yeah, that one. 
At the end of the weekend, we all checked our mobile banking app to discover we spent way more than we anticipated. There are many reasons why this may have occurred, but today I want to introduce a concept that I call the pain of paying and explain why we should all try to start using cash whenever possible. The pain of paying is a concept based on the idea that because some purchases are a little more painful than others, we should try to avoid them. For example, a $200 parking ticket hurts more than paying $200 for shoes. Additionally, even if the price of something is the same, it may hurt more based on if you're using cash versus a credit card. Whether you want to admit it or not, we've all experienced the pain or tried to avoid the pain of paying at one point in time. Can't you remember that time you decided to use your credit card instead of cash or debit at the store because you didn't want to see all that money leave your account at once? Yeah, that was avoiding the pain. Guess what? The reason we feel this way is because the psychological effect of buying something is higher when you physically hand over cash because you instantly feel the impact and notice the money leaving your wallet or purse. With a credit card swipe, we don't usually feel the impact until the next billing cycle or when we actually decide to check our account. The pain of paying concept has led me to try to use cash when I can and encourage the people I help to do the same. I personally use cash for my play money, eating out, and other extracurriculars. And before you ask, there are two main benefits of using cash. Visually seeing your money leave your hand can help with the following. It can help you stay within your budget. Once you spend your allocated cash for the weekend or event or category like bar or brunch, it's gone. And it can help curb unnecessary spending. When you know you have to make your cash last for a certain period of time, you might cut back on making those $5 or $10 purchases that add up before you know it. How about that daily Starbucks fix that you think you need? or even that LaCroix sparkling water. I'm personally guilty of this one. Whether it's Starbucks, brunches, or even festivities for the entire weekend, I challenge you to use cash for the next 30 days for some of your expenses. I'm sure you'll see a shift in your spending habits if you stick with it. You just listened to the posts titled How to Strategically Use Credit Cards and The Pain of Paying, Carrying Cash both by Philip Dancy of dancywithmoney.com. Okay, that is it for today. I thank you as always for listening. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you back here tomorrow for the Thursday show where your optimal life awaits.